viral marketing, you may have heard of viral videos, but basically the thing about viral marketing is whatever the, the mechanism that's used to get people to talk to each other, that's the whole purpose of it, to get someone to say, oh my God, did you see that? You know, so they'll go and they'll tell a friend and they'll tell a friend, and before you know it, without any cost of advertising or marketing, you'll have something spreading across the, the nation or the world, which gets to get more, more information and more stuff about your business and your profile. And YouTube marketing, which is like my favourite of all time. People like videos, they like to watch videos. Google brought these the other day for $1.6 billion. Google and YouTube. And YouTube is now becoming a more search engine, a better search engine, a more used search engine than Google. Because most of the time, if you go into Google and you decide to look for, let's try something like. Um, America's next top model. What you'll find is now, most people, they'll look through the list of something they've searched for, but if a video exists, they'll go to something like YouTube. So what I tend to do now, I go straight to YouTube if I want to find that information. For instance, if I want to um, learn a bit more about blogging, learn anything, anything I want, I'd rather watch a video, so now I'm using YouTube as my video source. Gauge. Right, this is a, a pretty short one, but what it is is why would somebody buy off you? What is it that you're saying to them that touches them personally and makes them feel this guy's on my level? I really want to hear what he's got to say. So you have to understand things like what are their needs, what is the problem that they have, address that problem by offering a one or more solutions to that problem because. If you don't know specifically what that guy wants from you, how can you expect them to, how can you expect to service them and get them to part with money based on what you're offering? So uh, one of the key things is called copywriting, and that's learning how to write in a certain language that touches upon the people who have just come to your website. I won't go too far in depth with this, because this is a big, big topic in itself. But I'm going to set up some things on my other website which will be accessible to you, free PDFs, audio um, files, where you'll hear people who are masters of copywriting. I've known copywriters who will charge maybe twenty, thirty thousand dollars for one web page or one sales letter, but that sales letter will most probably get somebody two, three million quid's worth of sales. So they're willing to front twenty, thirty grand in advance because they know this person can get them through their power of their words, sales. When you get people to your website and you've addressed what it is they're after, the next thing is you want to make them part of their money because at the end of the day, somebody visits your site and goes away, it's of no use. So there's many methods you can use to make somebody put their hand in their pocket and say, right, I'm going to, I'm going to spend some money with you. The benefits. You've got to make them believe that when they get to your site, what you have to offer them is going to be a benefit to them. It's going to change their life. It's going to make them happier, slimmer, you know, wiser. But it's got to touch upon them. And there's many benefits you can post on your website that tells them. You've got to paint a picture of their head, an image of what they feel they're going to gain in the future because they brought from you. Social proof. These are things like testimonials. It's all well and good somebody telling you I'm the best, this is the best product, keep buying it from me and you'll, you'll you know, become a star or whatever. You have to use social proof and that means you get other people who have used your product to make a testimonial. Because you might probably be more likely to buy if you see Jim, James B from Minnesota saying I tried this and I lost three pounds in one day or, or whatever you happen to be selling. So the more testimonies you can get, that proves to other people that there are other people who have used your product and have benefited from it. A solid guarantee. I've said a one-year guarantee. That's usually the norm online. You think 30 days, that should do. But I've said one-year guarantees. I offer 60, 70, 80, 90 day guarantees. I've actually offered a one-year guarantee before. One thing, which is really cool, is that you say to them, if this doesn't do what I tell you will do, 
in 365 days, then you can give it back to me and I'll give you all your money back. So if I'm going to get a refund, I'm going to have to wait a year before I get the refund, I have to give a refund, so I'm going to cover myself that way. Bonuses, that's another thing we'll find on very popular websites. If you give somebody something, let's say, this is a weight loss product again, let's talk about. But it's a book that tells you how to train, how to um, eat right, all the essentials that go into weight loss. But you might have done a deal with another company that says, I've got some samples of some slimming tablets or some um, things that um, lower, um, not cholesterol, carbohydrates, it burns, it burns fat quick. So you can say to that company, may I have some samples? And usually they'll give you them because they want to get their name out there as well. So you can actually get a load of samples and say, anyone who buys my product today, or within the next three seconds, you can have this bonus, which is tablets. And then you might find there's um, a video on certain exercises that someone else has produced. So you can offer that as a second bonus. You basically weigh the product, the core product, down with with um, bonuses, so it makes them, gives them more reason to buy it rather than just leave your website. And this is one of the, the key, the key um, methods used for getting people to buy right now. It's for scarcity or fear of loss. If you say to somebody, either there's only 500 of these left, we've sold, um, we had 10,000, we've got 500 left, and we, assume, we, we anticipate they're going to be sold in the next, you know, 24 hours. You're more likely to want to hurry and buy the product, or you can say there's a, a fixed amount of um, a price. They're $49 now, but in um, 24 hours they're going to be $99. Use all these different techniques to just make force somebody to want to buy with you now. Right. Once you've got your customer, it's no good just having a one-hit wonder. Like they bought your product once, and then you might not ever hear from them again. So there's other methods you do to keep in the mind of those people who have purchased from you already. For instance, email marketing. Once they've joined or bought your product, you've now got an email address and their first name. You can craft emails with a special um, bit of software where you can actually insert the person's name because it takes it from their first name from the form they filled in. So let's say your name was Steve. Let's say, hi Steve, I know you came here on the such and such date, and you brought such and such a product. All this information has been dragged from the sales process. I think there's something else you might be interested in, and you send them an email, and you can actually have a thing called an autoresponder, which is a sequencer of messages related to their core product that they purchased. And you can send it to